So what's up guys, Gibson here, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys are having a good one. And in today's video I'm just going to be telling you a quick life story on my very first paranormal experience. So if you guys did enjoy the video then drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. For more videos uploaded here to my channel every single day. And without further ado, let's begin. So I was in 10th grade, well I still am as of today. Now mind you before this event took place I did, didn't really believe in the paranormal to be quite honest. I am more or less a person that needs to experience something in order to believe it when it comes to something just as serious as that in the paranormal. Like, that's just me personally, like seeing is believing. So one time when I was in 10th grade, and uh, our teachers and the principal decided to go on a camping field trip to Victor Harbour. So we live in Adelaide and we were going to go to the Victor Harbour to rent out a very old hotel slash bar known as the Hotel Victor. That's in Victor Harbour. But I was really interested in ghost hunting equipment and whatnot and my mom's friend actually is a, uh, is a qualified doctor and she's a ghost hunter. But anyways, that's just beside the point. So, um, we rented out the Hotel Victor for about 72 hours in Victor Harbour and we stayed th the three nights there. So there's been like several different reports of like ghostly and creepy activity in this like abandoned place. It's like the upstairs is an attraction where basically you can rent out or just have tours but there's evidently children that be that can be seen if held up like a mirror. If there's, if there's there's a couple of mirrors in various different rooms where you can sit in and if you to uh, look in the mirror you will see a supposed spirit of a child you know sometimes you'll hear footsteps and if you're in the bar downstairs there's, there's just a, a lot of really creepy stuff there's there's a lot of sounds and there's just a like a lot a lot of orbs that can be captured by the camera now if you guys don't know what that is it's basically when you take a uh, a camera and you go into some like haunted place and you just take pictures in the dark with flashes. You will normally see in the pictures a little, what seems to be little white dots that are transparent, and those are what's known as orbs. And uh, the best way I can explain it, I'm, I'm not in any way, shape, or form an expert on this, so don't quote me on that. But the elevator pictures this is that basically these orbs are spirits or energy from dead human beings if that makes any sense and you're able to capture these orbs that's what they're called the pictures but we stayed the entire night and uh, we got back to our hotel like six in the morning but throughout the entire night every single one of us were prompted to stay in separate rooms and just experience the feeling of being alone and truly quiet so you can listen to what you know what's everything that's going on around you What's creepy about it is that when you're sitting in one of these rooms alone where there's been like like so much murder and like so many deaths that were taking place in this building it, like that you start hearing things like in your head so it's not like you're overthinking anything it's just I don't know how to explain it like people I understand people that are very skeptical when it comes to the paranormal and whatnot but I can tell you for a fact that I don't I don't in any way shape or form ask you guys to believe this story I mean no person I know personally it happened to me and I know that it's real but personally if any of you have your own paranormal experience you're not going to truly believe in it unless you experience it yourself so throughout the entire night when I was sitting in rooms alone I was experiencing similar feelings to like lightheadedness I felt as though there was someone literally standing in front of me just looking down upon me even though it was pitch black it's literally if you were to just sit in a room and then you would have like someone that you know in your room just stand right above you in your room just stand right above you over the bed while you're not seeing you just know that sense of someone just standing there and it's just really 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 creepy and scary I guess that's the best way I can put it to be quite honest is that when you're just in a room by yourself either at night sleeping alone and you just have that sense of feeling of that you're not alone and there's somebody there watching you whether it be something or someone that's the best way I can describe it to people that haven't experienced some sort of paranormal event in their life I guess so 
long story short, we did this all night and we walked around. We had a uh, we had an EVP, we had a bunch of kid toys because there was a child that had passed away in that building. What's interesting is that we put a ball in the middle of the room when we all left and we had a little meter that spiked when a large amount of energy was present and uh, the ball moved from one side of the room to another. We took plenty of pictures and there was orb after orb after orb showing up in various pictures on my phone back then and it was it was it was just a, a really interesting a uh, uh, event that took place and I know when you watch shows like I know people that watch like ghost adventures they always seem so over the top like they when they're talking and they're saying that yo my uh, I'm getting goosebumps and I feel like there's there's just an energy that just went through me or you know it's it's really hot or cold over here that's that's it's a real thing I mean just I mean this is Victor Harbor for Christ's sake it's like 80 90 degrees daily in Victor Harbor and if it's if it's not like in the winter time it's like seriously cold but where we were at it was definitely in the hundreds and then just out of nowhere this ro this room that we were in just came freezing cold and I believe the temperature went from like 80 and went down to like 10 degrees or something crazy like that like I mean you could see your breath I mean it was insane and uh, one of the bigger moments that stuck out to me uh, it was an instance I believe it was around 1 or 2 in the morning and I was just sitting in a room by myself and I was just sitting uh, um, there in the dark and I couldn't see one foot in front of me and one thing that stood out to me more specifically is that though I just started to smell perfume it was like um, a milky flowery sort of like perfume smell like I've never been I love okay personally milk and flowers is like one of my favorite combinations when it comes to like juice and like scents and whatnot but I can't really explain other than that I've never smelled this before and yet it was just so familiar and I knew what it was it was like it was just overpowering and it, it came out of nowhere I, I never no one with us had any sort of perfume on or anything like that so this is this scent it, it came out of you know it came out from one side of the room but I don't know what it was I don't know how to explain it to be quite honest and once I, towards the end, there was a mirror in the room, as I said, there was a shadow that I saw just walk right in front of me. Everybody else was in their own compartments across the hallway and even downstairs, and we had all of our moments to kind of go upstairs and like spend time alone, and there was a exit door on the other side, and it was just humongous, and I saw a shadow walk around in front of the doorway. And I know for a fact nobody was up there, and it was just me, and I, uh, I don't know how to explain it, it, that it was not a shadow from the street down below, there was no lights, there was no nothing like that, it was a shadow of a figure, and there was someone up there in that room with me, and as soon as I saw that, and I knew that there was someone in here, and I froze, I, I could not move, and the only thing that I could literally do with anything was just all in my head. I, I couldn't move my fingers, I couldn't move my toes, like, I was just stiff as a board, and I did not know what to do. But seeing that was the, uh, was the peak of it, it wasn't anything extraordinary or out of the ordinary, it was just... It was just a very interesting event that took place, so I guess that is my first paranormal story. I know it wasn't anything too crazy, but it was a lot for me to kind of come to the conclusion of because I do not believe in any sort of like ghosts or paranormal activity until I experienced it for myself. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have have you guys ever been to the Hotel Victor before? If you have, if you have, then then just let me know what your experiences like do you guys have any paranormal experiences of your own like I would really like to hear them and read them in the comment section below and I just wanted to throw this out there and if you guys did enjoy today's story if you guys did drop a like subscribe if you are new um, let me know if you guys want to see more creepy stories and whatnot I will be really down to see you in to tell more so thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.